Hey guys, it's Jamie with GettingCrafty.net. Today is National Flag Day, so I had to go ahead and rock one of my mini patriotic gear. I love the United States of America, born and raised and no shame there. I am a constitutionalist and I've taught my children all about the amazing fabric that is our, our country. But speaking of fabric, being Flag Day, I wanna take and create a flag that celebrates our amazing country and the way that we are so blessed. We're gonna take this awesome extra large bigger than my head. I love it. Look how big that is. Oop, it's got a dimensional piece on it. And we're going to make that into our amazing flag. Take this and then create this. Let's go ahead and dive in right now. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of our card making and crafting. So make the world a more beautiful place, one handmade card at a time. Let's go ahead and dive in right now. Okay, so we're going to jump in. One of my things is to create really neat debossed images. And this is a quick and easy card. I love quick and easy. And if you haven't played with the new embossing folders from Stampin' Up, you will love just how big they are. They are bigger than the average card front. They are ideal for scrapbooking, quilting, you name it. Lots of great techniques that we can do with this. Now, did you know about color theory? Color theory is a wonderful um, aspect of how to <coughs> create, excuse me. And we're gonna be taking out of the color family coordinating colors. If it's in a color family together, it's designed to coordinate. Isn't that amazing? So we're going to be taking the blueberry bushel and the real red along with this um, basic white cardstock. And don't get rid of your scraps because we're going to be die cutting these little mini alphabets to celebrate our country. So right now we're going to dive in. And again, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any card making and crafting. Now, there's two sides to one of our embossing folders. One has the higher raised texture, usually the finer line, and that's the side I plan to use today. That you have the debossing. This would actually have a lot more red with far less white. The white would be the negative, and I wanted this to be a little bit more balanced. So you can see here, I actually ran both of these through at the same time to create this unique texture that you see right here, and it does have texture. It's really lush. And again, a quick card is one of my favorite cards to create eight so go ahead and we're gonna grab our awesome brayer and the real red ink pad here and I'm actually gonna do I believe I do I have it cut what I should have had it cut if not we're just gonna use no I know I have it cut hold on yes so I have two of them cut that are the same size. If you wanna see these measurements on my blog at gettingcrafty.net, they're all there and waiting for you. So taking one of our amazing brayers, I love the little kickstand on it. It keeps the brayer from um, moisturizing or transferring the ink before I'm ready. So here I've got our glass plate, which is available coming up in July for those that sign up and join um, with Stampin' Up. Demonstrators are able to order theirs now and I love it. Um, there is lots of videos on why you need it, but I have the top 10 video reasons that you need uh, a glass mat in your life. So we're just going to go forward and back. You can go either way. It will transfer those lines, which is not terrible with a project like this. And then I'm going to raise this up and I'm feeling, and actually this feels, am I right? Yes, this is the side I think I want. Um, okay. Is it wrong? I don't think that you can do this wrong, quite honestly. And we're gonna brayer all the way across. Why? I'm gonna do two. Why am I doing two? Well, I have a history of supporting deployed troops. I would think this would be a great card to send to our deployed troops. Um, it is a great card with the 4th of July coming up. I think that's a wonderful card to have on hand to celebrate soldiers, veterans, um, anything like that, or just because. You know, we live in the land of the free because of those that made that possible. And I love our country. And you can go back and forth. I'm not even re-inking. All it's going to be doing is making that ink spread for a better texture. So you can see it kind of darkens up a little bit as you're doing it. And this is a non-porous surface being that it's plastic. Here I can put it up on the kickstand and it's not going to get damaged, but I'm going to move it so that it doesn't um, come and in impede my crafting. I'm gonna close my real red ink pad. There's no stamping to this project though. There's lots of great uh, stamps that you could apply to the inside that I would totally use. And um, we're gonna place one and once you place it, you guys, you have to kind of own it. That's what happens here. It kind of gives it a little shmia. There we go, two. And close your embossing folder. Then we're gonna grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine here. 
and it gives you the recipe to what you need. So I store it with all of my pieces and our thick embossing folder, but it tells you on here what pieces you need. So in order to do a regular embossing folder, which is this one, we have two levels, standard embossing folder, you need the base, which is number one, and then you need two number threes. And that's what we're going to use here. Very quick, you don't have to think about this project too much. Are you patriotic? I thought it was really interesting. I had met these amazing couple from Britain and they said that, and this was years ago, years and years, probably five or six years ago, that it's not uh, typical to be uh, patriotic. You don't fly, fly your flag in your country because it could be considered um, hate. And I just thought that was devastating to me. Like I love, love having our flag up. I love wearing patriotic gear, teaching my children the fabric of our country. And is a flag the end all be all of our country's freedom? No, but it's a wonderful way to celebrate our amazing country. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take and do the reveal. Are you ready? Are you set? Looky there. It's beautiful. And it transferred all the ink with the 2,500 pounds of pressure that can occur when you are applying that. We're going to open it for that master reveal. <gasps> Look at that, my friends. I've made two stunning quick cards that I can do. And it reminds me of the waves when the flag is um, billowing in the um, wind. And so that makes me super happy. We're going to make this easy peasy lemon squeezy. I have a blueberry bushel card for the base. And um, I don't think that you need to go too extravagant with this. I like to frame it out with the real red cardstock that you see here. And I'm actually going to use my, mm, I say I got a little ink on my nail polish. Eh, it'll come off. Um, we're gonna be using our multi-purpose liquid adhesive for this part. And then we will be die cutting with the deckled rectangles. It's a layering set and I love my deckled. I love layering sets. So um, let me see here, just pop that down. And then because this has texture, you wanna use, a, I wouldn't use a inline adhesive like that. I would either use a liquid adhesive or Stampin' Dimensionals or even a glue dot here. And I really want it to have that billowy thing that comes to mind. Is there a right or wrong? Probably not. Probably not, my friends. So what we're going to do is I kind of sized out from the deckled rectangles what I wanted to use and one that fit well. So I just kind of took the deckled um, dies and applied it and this was perfect for me. And I'm going to use my cut and emboss machine again. And then we're gonna take a little scraps. You guys do not get rid of, it's right here, where'd it go? I had it here. Yes, nope, where did it go? I'm going crazy. Maybe it's because I move things. Um, when you cut your paper, you end up with, oh, here it is, these little strips. Don't get rid of them. They, I have a cup that I keep over the, um, like a big mason jar, and I throw them in with a variety of sizes because they make for great cuts on little pieces like this here. So we're gonna take the USA and we're gonna cut it three little times and then we will end up die cutting it. So I just kind of went over it and went boom, boom, and my U. And I ran it through to create this quick little die. So it would just be, I placed it um, cut side up so that it cut easily and it was snug as a bug in a rug. And here you go, we have our three um, letters die cut and Let's go ahead, get that deckled rectangle die cut for us to make a great little topper. Okay, so just take really quickly our cut and emboss machine. And this has all three pieces put back together. It has one, two, three, and another three, which gives you the explanation of what to do when you're using one of your die cuts. I love that anybody can use it. Super user friendly. Our cut and emboss machines are pretty freaking stand strong as well. They not only do they apply 2,500 pounds of pressure, which makes me feel like a rock star, but um, they last and last and last. And then they fold up. So if you guys didn't know that about our cut and emboss machines, um, these will fold up just like so. And then it stores perfectly on your shelf. Isn't that wonderful? So cool. And then um, I store these in a bucket right next to where I'm crafting. And I have a variety of cutting plates that are available. 
Um, and so what I do is I cut on the bottom plate here and I will flip it until it's dead with a clear plate on top and then I will switch it out. That's how I get a little bit more longevity to my cutting plates, just like so. And then I use uh, magnet sheets and I will have a link for that on my blog. And I cut them up and I use them so that I don't lose my dies. They are not falling off. And in anybody who's a crafter knows, you lose your stuff all the time. Not only your mind, <laughs> but your stuff. Um, okay, so no crafter should have a clean workspace. At least that's my life, right? No? Okay. Um, and this is where my, I'm an A-type hippie, which is super funny. I told that before I met my friend Sabrina. So we're looking at three and a quarter inches wide on this. And these, I believe, were about a half inch. They were. So what I want to do is I want to kind of space it out. Now, did you know that using a glass mat like so with the grids underneath will help you to eyeball things so that they are straight? It's true. It helps you with spacing. It helps you with all of that. USA, USA. God bless the land that we love. We do live in an amazing country, my friends. Okay. Did I use my ruler? No, but I keep it at my workstation at all times. I'm always whipping it out to just eyeball things differently. And you can also use your, I'm gonna move this to the side, take your pick tool. I use this a lot to grab onto my pieces so that I'm not fiddling with it. And then put just a fine line of adhesive here. Maybe grab it down. I was a little aggressive with that. It happens when I'm talking on a video. Like really, I get a little nervous. And this is 18 years of doing what I love, you guys. I love it. But it doesn't surprise me that I could get nervous. And that was too much there. I'll tell you how to fix that in just a second. Um, we're gonna use this and go through and do the USA. Just the extra adhesive on my finger, which is yucky feeling. Um, I have friends with sensory issues and they'll say, oh, I can't stand the liquid adhesive. It gets on my finger. And I'm like, there's actually a use to it. Like it's kind of tacky and not in the, um, you're wearing something tacky way. <laughs> ah, so USA. Um, I try to go live this week. We live in a small town in Indiana, right outside of Fort Wayne and Marion. I live kind of in between the two. And so um, our internet is struggling in town right now, which is beyond frustrating, let me tell you. Um, and use the tip of your multi-purpose liquid adhesive to place it and smear it. Don't use your fingers, you don't have to. So USA, then I would take my embossing buddy, just kind of tap around a little bit, and that will come off. It's just a loose talc. These are really popular with my bowling friends, and you can just rub it off, and it won't stay. It looks like it, it will, but it won't. And you can also, it will absorb your adhesive, the extra adhesive, and you can then roll that off if you want. It's super easy to do. It's, I did that mistake on purpose for you guys, right? That's what I did. Um, and then we're gonna take our adhesive back rhinestones and just kind of add some star spangled bannered awesomeness to this. I wanted it in between and see if I can move that. Now I do like the putty side for this picking up. It's like kind of a swoop motion, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ooh, Asher. I don't know that my friends in foreign countries have the same um, patriotism that we do here in the United States, or at least that we should. I think all countries should be super patriotic with the land that they live in. There's a loyalty that you have to the land that you are gifted with. And we're called to take care of our land. And so, I don't know. It's one of those things. I uh, My friends will say that they clearly know I'm from California and I have to laugh because I do sound a little like environmentally conscious, which isn't everybody everywhere. And so um, I remember when we moved to Indiana, we took a bag of batteries and looked for a battery recycling facility. And they're like, we don't have that. And I thought that was really interesting. Like. We don't have that, really? Huh. 
California, things that you did to our brain. So I said, well, what do you do with your batteries? She says, we throw them away. <laughs> I, like, I literally didn't know what to do, which is funny because I used to throw them away when I was a kid. Um, okay, so we're going to flip that over, placing some Stampin' Dimensionals across the back. Easy peasy, you guys. This does not have to be a hard one. This An easy card is so much fun, but you made it really unique by applying all that texture. And then I did want that little peak of the flag, like around the deckled. So I'm leaning over it. Hopefully my chest isn't in the picture. There you go. And there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, anytime you're sending a card like this, you want to have a liner inside. Um, so here I would stamp it before placing it in so that you have an easier way of writing on it. But here is our really fun and unique. You can see here I kind of smeared it but i don't mind it's very vintage looking and this is very strong looking i don't know i love it what do you think do you like it do you love it do you want some more of it if you haven't already subscribe hit that bell and make sure that you join us all week long as we create and connect over card making and crafting so go ahead and celebrate flag day there's an amazing amount of reasons to celebrate every single day and i love it if you didn't know the united states flag was incorporated um, in 1777 and it's been celebrated since, since 1916 for flag day in the united states of america i love it which do you prefer do you prefer the stronger outline or the more vintage one go ahead and comment and let me know and catch these upcoming videos we'd love to create and connect with you over card making and crafting all week long. I love it. Subscribe if you haven't. We want to see you as we go live every week at, well, unless I'm having internet problems or um, as we create cards and make the world a happier place with a little joy sent inside. Um, let me know what you think and what is your favorite part of this card? Is it the rhinestones, the die cut alphabet? I love the mini alphabet. It comes in one big plate that you see here with some extra plates like for your, your um, emphasis and it makes it easy to use. Uh, people can get daunted by the big alphabet die cut, but really how easy it is to just die cut little scraps. That makes me super happy. So thanks for joining us. You, you making us and joining us today makes me happy. Thank you so much. God bless, have a good day and God bless the United States of America.